The pace begins to crank up. Mr. Whitaker is third. Happy Diva still traveling in fourth, and St. Leo still the back marker as they come to jump the final open ditch. Surname booted into it. Rene's girl a length and a half down in second and closing. Mr. Whitaker still traveling. So's Happy Diva, and he hasn't moved on St. Leo either. And they've only got three plain fences to jump. Surname with Rene's girl jumping up sides at the third from home. Mr. Whitaker's now been shaken up a length and a half behind in third. Then follow happy diva and finally saint leo as the leaders come to jump two from home surname and renee's girl land up sides only a length to mr whitaker and happy diva on the outside saint leo is beaten back in fifth racing between the last two fences renee's girl and happy diva with mr whitaker between runners and surname with every chance renee's girl blundered her chance away at the last leaving mr whitaker in front of happy diva surname can't go on in third 100 yards from home happy diva trying to bridge the gap between herself and Mr. Whitaker, but the Cheltenham Festival winner is staying on resolutely and will win the Colin Parker Memorial. Mr. Whitaker beat Happy Diva. Surname Once again, tidy in front here, the leader. Lost in translation. He really has jumped so well all the way around so far. And another brilliant jump there. His jumping really has been of some notes. Count Merivale in second, Kildasart in third, and then my old gold. Over towards fence number 10. Lost in translation. Two length leader from Count Mirabel. It took a small chance with that fence. Killed a sight in third, then my old gold. As they run towards the open ditch on this part of the track. There's Robbie Power on board, lost in translation. Over the ditch and by still about two to three lengths clear. Two Count Mirabel and then Killed a sight and my old gold. At the final fence on this line. Lost in translation. Still travelling strongly at the head of affairs. By about two and a half lengths to Count Meribel in second. My old gold moving up to the inside of Kildesart. The four runners only covered by a few lengths as they make their way towards four from the finish and the Colin Parker Memorial Intermediate Steeplechase. Lost in translation has made every step of it. From Count Meribel in second, four from the end, the final open ditch. Kildesart lands in third with My Old Gold as they now begin to press on towards three from the end. Lost in translation, a couple of lengths leader to Count Meribel, Kildesart, and My Old Gold. Another super quick leap and a fantastic stride there, seen by Lost in translation. Took a couple of lengths and a bit more out of Count Meribel, who now for the first time has come under a bit of pressure. Then My Old Gold and Kildesart. They run towards two from the end. Lost in translation. In close there, he was clever. He got away by a couple of lengths to count Maribel. He's sticking to the task. Kildesart is trying to come up with something now. Then came My Old Gold. Here's the final jump. Lost in translation again. A super quick jump there from Count Maribel in second. Robbie Power has a glance in behind. Count Maribel's hard at work in second. Whereas Lost in translation has Billy gone through the gears here. He's going to race on clear at the line to win with plenty in hand. Lost in translation, a super comeback. He's won the Colin Parker Memorial. Memorial Intermediate Chase. Beat Count Maribel, killed a start in third, and My Old Gold was last of the four. Bernard Leithen and Brewing Up a Storm at the last fence over on the back straight. Imperial Aura jumped up well there to the outside of Sam Brown and has now claimed the lead on the landing side of four from the finish. A five from the finish, approaching four out now. And Sam Brown together with Imperial Aura. A length away to Black Off in third. Then Windsor Avenue, brewing up a storm and hardly thin. It's a field turn towards four from the finish. It's Sam Brown, the red sleeves and cap, the nosebound Imperial Aura. Saw a good stride there and picked up really nicely for David Bass. Imperial Aura and Sam Brown, two lengths away to Black Off. And then Windsor Avenue, brewing up a storm, is now trying to move up into contention in the pink. And then hardly thin. As they made their way over three from the end, Imperial Aura landed with the lead. From Sam Brown in second, he's sticking on in there. Brewing up a storm is poised in third, then Black Off on Windsor Avenue, followed then by Adlethan. It is two from the end, Imperial Aura landed with the lead. From Sam Brown in second, it's a couple of lengths away then to Brewing up a storm. He's now been ridden along for more Black Off on Windsor Avenue. The next two, then Adlethan at the final fence, Imperial Aura gets over to the other side, three lengths in front from Sam Brown. Windsor Avenue battling away with Black Off in behind, but it's Imperial Aura heading towards the final half of Furlong, who's out in front and leads by a good three lengths and racing up towards the line it's going to be Imperial Aura to win the Colin Parker Memorial Intermediate Steeplechase Imperial Aura the winner
From Windsor Avenue in second and Sam Brown in third, Black Op in fourth, Bernard Lethan and brewing up a storm. Four fences out, and up front it's now Bellamy de Picton who's trying to get away. He's opened up by three lengths, waiting patiently. He's just stalking him in second. They've gone away from I just know and Bay Wing. So down towards fence 13. Here's the ditch. Bellamy de Picton measured that really well. So did waiting patiently in second. Jockey's having a look round. Liam Treadwell waiting patiently. He's right in his wing mirrors. Down towards the final three fences they come in the Colin Parker Memorial Intermediate Chase. Flying leap by Bellamy de Picton, but waiting patiently. Absolutely absolutely sluiced over in second down towards the second last they come now Bellamy de Picton leads by a length and a half to waiting patiently who's doing exactly that in second here's the second last Bellamy de Picton over in front waiting patiently is now cruising up sides one fence left to negotiate and waiting patiently has been sent to the front Bellamy de Picton trying to respond here's the final fence waiting patiently jumps it really well gets away quickly Bellamy de Picton tries to respond in second waiting patiently shaken up by Brian Hughes in front is extending by three lengths. Bellamy de Picton kept going in second, but waiting patiently in the style of a good horse has put in a really good round of jumping. One slight error, but waiting patiently has gone on to win really well. Bellamy de Picton in second, the scrap on for third. That'll just go the way of Bay Wing in front of I just know in fourth. See you at midnight once again is really good, fast and flat. Bristol de Mai got it over well in second as well. And now the contest is on as they come back towards the third last fence, fence number 14. And they're really motoring now. Another good leap by See you at midnight. Bristol de Mai took off a bit early, but he still negotiated it well. They're sprinting back towards the second last. See you at midnight on the left. Bristol de Mai on the right. Race on here. Here's the second last. Another good leap by See you at midnight. Bristol de Mai just a little bit longer in the air in second. They're down towards the final fence now. See you at midnight, pouring it on up front. Here's the final fence. See you at midnight, absolutely winged it again and gets away quickly by three to four to Bristol de Mai, who can't respond in second. A fantastic round of jumping by See you at midnight has sealed it and racing up towards the line. See you at midnight is careering away to win for Sandy Thompson and the North. See you at midnight has won the Colin Parker in great style. Back in second, Bristol de Mai.